Hey everyone, I've read a few comments that people don't really like the brawl mode. Well, can't blame you. Uh, it is, there is some RNG to it. I do love it. A big auto chess fan, I played my fair share of Teamfight Tactics or Dota Auto Chess when it was popular. I haven't played those games in a while, but now that it's an Epic 7 uh, in a rather, well, simplified version i do really like it uh, as you can see i uh, sorry for that i pretty much have all the uh, current missions completed last one that is missing is win brawl 10 out of 10 times i'm missing two wins we are going to get the ninth win right here in this video and let me tell you something the uh, the most annoying achievement of all those is the dragon knight synergy uh, and the, the, the reason for that is rather simple. A, the Dragon Knight perk is the worst out of the f three or four there is. And uh, Senya, the, the, the five star unit for this Dragon Knight synergy, is the worst five star that you can have. Uh, the two reasons are A, her S2, which provides a shield to her, takes way too long to set up. So she first does a cast, uh, swings her spear around, and when the enemy makes up that icon over her, that's when the shield applies. So that's about two or three seconds of no damage, but only damage taken, but she doesn't do anything. Then her ultimate. Her ultimate is the dumbest thing. So once she does her S2, the player S2 or the unit S2, she just stands around for a good three to five seconds before she then uses her ult basically rendering this entire unit useless for a good 10 seconds. 10 seconds in this mode are pretty much you're either dead or you win and that's why i hated doing this one i actually all the strat that i'm using um, to win pretty much every battle as you can tell this is my last setup and yeah does this look really good to you well because it is and uh, this is super flexible so as you can tell, there's a lot of free stars in this. And the whole um, easiness or ease of use of this strategy is that we are going to zerk down. So an ideal comp is one five star unit, two or three four star units, which I don't have in this build, as you can tell, and a four to five um, three star units. Now, as you can tell, I managed to pull this off with six three star units. But those uh, six units need to be high imprint level, which is rather easy to pull off, honestly. And I'll show you how to do this. So let's get right into this. I have no missions left to do and we'll see how it goes. So the first seven rounds, because round eight is the first actually harder one, 10 being rather annoying, but we'll get to that when we get there. So turn one is, uh, we want to speed this up. We want to get to seven out of eight right away. And we're gonna have lots of econ rounds. So what we'll do, turn one is we're going to increase the unit size as well as uh, get one unit. And it doesn't really matter which one we get. We got the worst one, Camilla is one of the worst units because she's that Dragon Knight perk. I personally like it. Um, if it were me, I just reroll at this point because that's the only one unit that I do not really want to start with but it's fine so on turn uh, two i'm just gonna do this again because it's just two units and usually she might die here because she's she's damn bad but she shouldn't and usually when i get hustle or uh, penelope or literally any other unit for that matter this is over my pers personal two favorites are yunrian and hustle both of which have the uh, the best perk in the game, the one that the Hawk also uses, for example, and also enables the Hawk's ultimate. All right, so um, we can't use this again. We need 150 gold, but we need a couple of more units. So we got Iron, which is who is good, and we got Alexa, which is rather okay. -ish. So we'll put these in here. We have no synergies yet, um, but we'll get there eventually. And as you can tell, now things are going to be sped up a lot. Iron is rather good, so is Alexa. Um, so 
like I said, most of the units are decent, especially the three stars. Camilla being the only exception to the rule that is rather underwhelming. All right, so it's turn four. We didn't anything for enemies. We're, this is our free, but we have the attack buff. As you can tell, Alexa and I am doing um, a lot of damage here. And Camilla is just standing there, honestly. Nothing much. Okay. So, we've got uh, enough money right now, if you're luckier than me and, uh, for example, get the Rheingar um, passive on these units, you may or may not have even more gold, depends on your entire role. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna level up once and we'll get two units. We got Rose. Rose is a mixed bag here. Uh, main reason is we activated the Dragon Knight passive, which spawns a dragon core and that dragon core takes up time to kill and it takes a valuable time uh, that you could spend dpsing the enemy surely that crit uh, crit rate buff is nice to have but by the time you reach it i don't think you'll be better off so yeah um what, what i do like is that we do have the increased damage and defense buff on lorena and alexa you should pair them up rather close together so they do both get the bonus we also have the 100 damage dealt for camilla and lorena but honestly it's just gonna be lorena who benefits from it and as you can tell instead of fighting four we're fighting five enemies right now and that core is taking up some hits that could otherwise but oh well as you can tell by the time we get the uh, crit chance buff i mean this fight is already over but still it was rather easy the first real challenge is 8 and 10 uh, and then it's pretty much ebb and flow until we get to 18. so next step is uh, we're gonna get to uh, level 7 so i'll let this play out um always keeping in mind that i'm fighting one more enemy that i than I should be fighting, which is super annoying. As you can tell, I'm wasting lots of damage on uh, on the Zag, and this damage could have de been dealt to, for example, the middle one or the bottom one. And the crit chance buff doesn't really help in that in this regard. But I mean, I guess it's still working. Um, but that's more because I have a four-star unit that can soak a lot of damage. All right, so we got enough for level seven, and from here on out. Oh, I got the Stina. So, yeah, getting a 5 star, this is super lucky, honestly. But, yeah, especially for 50. So. The Stina is going to massively help. Um, positioning and all doesn't matter for the first few turns, as you can tell. Um, the way I set this up right now is just that I have full coverage of these four lines. Uh, so nobody can backstep me or go around and um, get to Iron because I... Iron is uh, kind of important, even though he doesn't do much, but yeah, we need that solid backline. Alright, so the last step is rather expensive and I usually tend to get this at level or uh, around uh, 11 or 12. So what we're going to do is we're going to get, oh, Hustle, very good. Another hustle, and from here on out, we will just try to overpower uh, the enemies. So, I do have one more slot. I'm gonna put in Shuri because Shuri is really good. We got that, uh, we got the passive for um, speed increase. And what else? I should have the the Ryan passive, yep, yeah, the one that the Ryan guard passive, my personal favorite, honestly. So, um, I could technically use Hustle here, and I will but not instead of her instead of rose even though rose is a four star unit and has technically high damage i'm just really not a fan of the dragon knight passive so i get it and will fight the enemies that have huge shields and this fight is rather well it takes a while but it's not the hardest and yeah having a five star uh, this early is rather strong but we may or may not use um destina at the end, it needs a very specific um, passive to be good here. But yeah, that's pretty much the whole strategy. Um, round 9, I'm not gonna do anything. Go for an econ round, economy round, uh, so we don't um, waste our gold here. 
Round 10 is versus Zahak. Zahak is uh, tricky. Uh, you either have enough firepower to pretty much obliterate, uh, I believe, Hassel, who is in the top, and Zahak in the middle right away, or you will have to struggle for a bit. So, um, yeah, this comp, we do not have that many imprints. So I'm just gonna go for some. I know this is actually pretty nice here. Yeah. Kiri Cat is very good too. So what I can do is I don't need her and I don't need her. So we already have uh, increased levels on Inos and I know which is rather important. Um, and I also have the Rheingar passive uh, number 20 more. So now I'm at a cr um, crossroad. Do I want to keep pushing for more imprints, for better units potentially? Uh, especially Shuri would be important. But t round 10 is one of those rounds where you can afford to lose once because losses still earn you money. And I'm just going to go in here and hope for the best. Uh, I'm not particularly a fan of... Um, Alexa here, uh, truth be told, and I'm considering to throw her out if we were to get someone else. I'm just gonna spend this. Okay, I got an imprint, and instead of Alexa, I'll just get a third saver, so we do have more healing. But truth be told, more healing doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna win against the hack. We'll see. Oh, Hassel is at the bottom. You and Liam at the uh, at the top. But the goal is to pretty much uh, out heal the Zahag damage here. And uh, yeah, Shuri doing the Lord's work as, tell, as well as Hassel. Hassel is with a fixed damage. And yeah, pretty much one right away. We also have enough um, for eight units. And now it's just basically we are spamming that 50 uh, unit button. All right, so I didn't get anything worthwhile, but we do have one free slot, but all the units that I have, they're not really that good, honestly. So I'm just gonna put in here and I'll position her right around here and that should be fine. We'll have one of these uh, enemy mice uh, sneak around to Inos, but she should be fine. Uh, Alexa's getting spam healed by Justina here, which is a very cool. And yeah, that's going to be everything that we do. So next round or the next tricky round is going to be 13, but it shouldn't be much of an issue. We'll econ round this one. For my personal liking, I would like more Rheingar units. We're only at three. I, I'd really like a fourth one, which in, in an ideal case scenario, it'd be um, Cyrilla or Yuna, but we'll see about that. I, I, at this point, I wouldn't mind losing this Tina for Cyrilla or Yuna, TBH. All right, round 13. So let's spam 50 button. Yay, now we don't need uh, Yun Ryang. Really nice. Got an imprint on Iron. Norena, Camilla, I don't really need. Uh, so Yun Ryang, we can put her in. So we get the 50 fixed damage on Hassel and Yun Ryang. So that means we can also now get the Hag who had, who will have lots of value. We also have the free. Uh, we need a fourth knight. Um, we don't. We could get a fourth knight in here for more health and TBH. That's what I'm gonna do right now, just so I have uh, more bulk for this stage. But I'm not fixed on not changing this. So constantly changing your setup is always very helpful. Especially versus this cleave in here, but as you can tell, um, Hassel gets right away to the back row, and once we're at the back row, um, we should start seeing um, the enemies fall rather quickly. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And now I could go back to ha using Inos, but as long as I don't have imprints, I feel like for uh, four nights is better. 14 isn't at all that hard, so let's just econ around this. We don't need any changes. Just more trash mobs. 
round 15, I forgot what it was. Um, uh, we'll see. I forgot which unit it was again. But was it that Vildred round? I'm not quite sure. Or was Vildred level 20? We'll see. I know the next really, really tough one is 23. 23 is always my toughest, or oh, my personal enemy. But as always, uh, I always go for 15, 18, 20, 23, where I will spend my um, gold here. Hoping for some decent imprints. Carrot wing. That's a good one, uh, actually. Um. Ian at C, Lucy at B, Alexa, Carrot, Inos, and another Inos. Uh, yeah, I guess I can pick Inos again, which also helps in getting Polydis. Um, yeah, let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's the Polydis stage. I always forget which one it is. Alright, so for whatever reason, um, I always have the impression that this stage is super bulky for no reason. So it takes a while. Oh, I also forgot to do the uh, increased speed. Three soul weavers, I mean, what's supposed to happen, right? I had three soul weavers, but that's the first time, but that's how the draft goes. Alright. Hustle is taking care of uh, Polidus and yeah, that I know that Ranger, but yeah, as you can tell, uh, it wasn't that hard after all. Alright, 16 and 17 are free uh, econ rounds. We'll use that to uh, pretty much check out the comp, survivability, and whatnot, see if there's any bottlenecks to our composition, but it wouldn't appear so. You and Leon could use your imprints. Um, we'll hopefully get some, but if not, that's fine too. Our economy is looking stellar though, we are at 700-ish. Yeah, so let's econ once more and we'll be at 1000, which grants us 20 poles, 50 a pop, meaning 20 poles. Really good, so we are looking at quite a lot of imprints, uh, hopefully a, a few good ones. Um, I'd like Castle, I'd like uh, Shuri especially, Shuri is one of the core units of this uh, right now. As you can see, Castle, Ian and Shuri imprints so would be much appreciated. Yeah. Alright, we're not quite at 1k, but doesn't matter. I know this. Hey, very good. Lucy stacking ups. All right, come along. And now I'm at a point where I might consider using. But to be age, as you can tell, uh, she does not fit any role whatsoever. Right now, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, yeah, Alexa also, super high imprint. We've, we've got triple S on Inos right now, which is rather nice. Kamala also maxed out carrot. Um, 18, I could use, uh, yeah, Camilla really does not serve any purpose here. I don't wanna destroy my uh yeah. yep that's good i'm pulling more camillas i know that's rather wasteful we're not gonna use rose so i'll do this we got angelica but angelica does not provide anything useful so we'll see how this goes um it shouldn't be too hard with three soul weavers one of which is triple s the river doesn't do any damage to uh, to her, she should be totally fine. And by the time uh, Lorena is done with Inos, uh, pretty much all the rest are. Most of the units should be gone. Yeah, three stars. I mean, they do hold their own weight. Alright, uh, 9 
19 is free loot. I've got lots of rats, but these rats shouldn't really do much here. Alright. The bottom rats are always the more uh, stronger ones, I feel like, even though they should be all the same. But it's just two versions of the one at, at the top. But still, no issue whatsoever. Back row protected. Alright, round 20. That's where the Vildred part comes in. And I'm just gonna go for the YOLO. Perfect. I got the Hawk. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna throw in Sahak in here. We got his ultimate. Not fixed damage. Lucy at S, which is rather nice. We've got two more pulls. Double S Lucy and C, uh, C imprint Yunryang. That's looking rather decent. So I know I will never use um, Angelica, Yena at B. I don't have any mages. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Spirit will fight off against the heart. And that was really bad positioning of, my, uh, of me. I should have put Sahak at the top and switch her with I knows. Oh well. We got rid of um, Vildred. Fine, but I need to switch that Sahak positioning because that was not very good. All right, Sahak and um, uh, what's her name? Lucy will change positions. Uh, 21 is rather easy. We'll go for an econ round, save up some money here. And Sahak now has one of these rats against him. He will always defeat the rat, have his um, S2 ready to gain invincibility and he will ult um, the back row, which is rather nice. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work out on the 23 stage, but it should be fine as well. Let me think. The top at in 23 is either Rose or a Soldier. But yeah, I'll go for another Econ round. Again, Red versus uh, Sahak, which is very nice for us. I got rid of both of them and yeah. The healing is rather nice. Okay, and round 23, the last real bottleneck um, or the real challenge TBH. So let's go for all the imprints that we can get. Uh, I would not recommend all ranges on this stage because the um, damage reflection will destroy you. Trust me on that one. I've experienced that firsthand. I'm gonna gamble for another Zahar copy. I got Vildred, Field Batman. Uh, Vildred has no purpose here. Penelope, I could have used her early on, but not now anymore. Well, that, that's really bad, but oh well. That's good, that's also good. A on Ian, S on Yunrian, very nice. Okay, so I can dump Penelope. I might consider getting the um, a buff for uh, Zahak because he's a warrior and getting 100% more damage dealt would be really nice right now. But I don't see any slot that I could offer to him because the Shuri is a bad idea to replace um, the the guy here the Mercury Red or whatever his name is is super tanky and super bulky I don't really want to give up on him especially at a imprint um, and this is stage 23 so I'll just go with this we have all three lives left yeah, it's Rose that he's fighting against, which is okay, to be H. He's also getting healed up. So Rose is going to be uh, defeated right now. Ultimate. And if not, whatever. taking no damage from Reflex. Very nice, though. 
Well, what happened? Shuri, long. He's just dead all of a sudden. So there's there was Senya. Not really doing anything. Right. Taking care of that guy now. And yeah, the hardest stage is pretty much done. I wonder what happened to Shuri. So he died really quickly. I did not. I, I will check my video later. Whatever. All right. But yeah, that's stage 23. We'll do an equal round on 24 because that one should be rather easy. Hopefully, very so we get more um, points. But these reds, man, they, they are something else. Nice hustle surviving all of this, very good. Getting healed up, etc. Alright, and now we are at a very comfortable position. We have lives for the last stage. I have 500 gold, um, so let's gamble some more. I know, bad drop, Yena, Yunryang, that's really nice. Another I knows, another I knows. Lucy, Dingo. I don't have that passive anymore, so Dingo can go away. We can dump this Tina L. At this point, I know I will not use any mages whatsoever. And we could gamble for a Zahak dupe. Um, I'm gonna do it. I got Polidus. Technically speaking, I could fit in Polidus uh, right now. Um, the unit I could switch her in is basically this guy, uh, but that be no bueno, I suppose. Or I could go like this, and I'd have Polidus um, damage as well as um, as a Hark ultimate. I mean there, and Polidus is at a imprint which is very cool and potentially an upgrade but we'll see how this goes uh, another lucy dupe which is very unfortunate alex i'm not gonna use so let's get another drop we got camilla okay so we got three attempts and this uh, let me think uh yeah this, this should be fine yeah i know gets hammered by two units uh potentially decent hopefully so I really got destroyed there so I'm going to bank on a Politis now. Put an A imprint, she should be fine, especially once she ults. Hustle should be dead now too. So there's her ultimate. Now the, um, the real threat to this, uh, all of these, or well, whatever her name is, I forgot her name. Alright, so we all know that was a positioning mistake, but we still have two more attempts. Alright, so Zahak needs to go up. Um, Sol needs to go over here. And she needs to go there. Zahak is, needs to be protected by Ainos. And Politis needs to be protected as well we got more gold to play with so let's go for that i hate these loose yeah give me more lucy dupes penelope that's good very good all right so we'll get rid of camilla and her uh still debating whether to go for 100 percent damage increase on a zahak or not but i feel like it's not worth it at this point we got camilla which is unfortunate uh all right so let's go and now the enemies don't get really through anymore which is very nice this is a big robot which is good too And it's also very cool is that um, Yunryang at the bottom is occupying uh, four units right now. That leaves me with lots of time to do other stuff, get rid of the Karen, 
and uh, prepare for part But it would appear we're still losing. Okay. Oh my god, our last chance. So Yunryang was... While she was occupying three units, I don't have it that way. Because Yunryang does more damage. Um, that was technically speaking fine until the moment the red died. I do want to keep Lucy though. Mm. Let's go for more imprints. Hustle imprint, very important right now, or very good, I should say. Another hustle imprint. Alright, so we can sell everything now. Um, this is the last chance that we do have, so might as well. We do get two more pulls. Alright, so this is what we're dealing, uh, going to have left. I'll put him here. Was it dead? Uh, Even then, it's gonna die. So damage, but that should be okay. Where's the hack? Uh, the hack should be towards uh, Lilius right now, isn't he? No, he's moving towards Karen. He got his ult off. We should be fine now. Yeah, that, that goes into Lilius, right? Yeah. So we won on the third attempt, um, and that's what um, all of these are for, basically. So losing a few times isn't that bad. It helped us boost um, the economy and all whatnot. As you can tell, I mean, I have lots of triple S's, and this was basically just whatever. I have two five stars, which isn't ideal, honestly. I do not really want that many five stars. A little bit too many because I have no four star unit, unless I'm mistaken. No, these are all three stars and two five stars, so that's not the ideal comp. Um, but it is what it is. Now let's try to defeat uh, the final stage. I would have liked Yuna earlier. She's right now anymore, even though she's a good unit. Probably one of the best. And yeah, uh, as you can tell, this was a very, or rather, unlucky draft. Um, but we still managed to, to beat this. We got two passives, so if you're going for the passives, I got the Policia um, quest out of the way, and I got the Theron hat one out of the way, which, that was really, really, really not the case. And I'm gonna lose so hard versus this team, because that last one was crazy. Uh, especially that Yuna is going to pretty much whoop my ass here. I have no means of reading that back row. We get that panty sh in at the end. I think that's fine. Oh, honestly, I wasn't really trying to beat my own team. Always be wary of how you end this because you might end up in a situation where. I am right now, where you do beat 25, but cannot beat your champion team, even though you have decent um, imprints. But yeah, I would have needed an imprinted Zahak for this, uh, at least at A level to have a chance. But yeah, I mean, this is a pretty good comp, as you can tell. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I won my ninth round, I need one more, and that'll be it. So yeah, all in all, as you've seen, speed run to um, level 7 and uh, between round 11 and 13 get your 8 unit uh, slot and ideally 8 unit on the playing field. Uh, spam that 50 cost unit button as much as you like to get those imprints and potentially um, super discounted 5 star units. You're spending 50 uh, coins for coin unit which is super high value i know it's rare it's not guaranteed but eventually it'll ha happen and yeah i find this mode rather nice but being this easy by just spamming the 50 unit cost button oh well anyway 
Hope this video helped and see you guys next time. Bye bye.